Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Escape First 3. Yes, an unexpected trilogy of Escape the Horrors puzzle games developed and published by OnSkull Games once again and is available for just £5.79 slash $6.99. So if you played the first two Escape games, this is, of course, pretty much the same. Puzzles to solve in order to complete three levels. Now what sets these easy games apart from the rest though is that atmospherically it is still pretty incredible. The puzzles take a good use of brain power and although it is short you do have a good time with it rather than spamming a few buttons and getting the 1k too easily. As for achievements this time around there are a few missable ones but as long as you follow in the guide you should have no problem at all but even if you somehow miss something the chapters are very short and obviously you can just replay them which is fair just fine. You can get this done in around 25 to 30 minutes or so. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And if you've played the games before, you'll know what to do. Hit the solo mode on the TV here. Go over to the first painting on the left hand side. Step back a bit, press the start button. Now, you can't jog or sprint or anything like that. But if you press the right trigger, you can turn on the flashlight. Uh, interacting with items, of course, will uh, be the A button and you can drop items with the B button. So first thing, have a look at the table right at the very end as you begin. And we're going to spin that until we hit the word betrayal lights up. There we go. Then turn to the left, go to the next table, spin that once until it says uh, uh, what it says right there. And then to the left, to the next table, spin this around a couple of times here until the word friendship lights up. And there we go. We get our first achievement as well. How to turn tables. <laughs> so head to the back into this office area and pick up the first book called End Ship. That's a very uh, good book. Half, fi half finished though. And put it on the friendship table. So there we go. The friendship is reunited. Let's turn around again. And on the bottom of the bookshelf here, pick up the next book called Eit F Not a very good book. And put that where it says Moida Moida. And finally, go straight in front of us from where we just filled the last table and on the book on the windowsill here on the left hand side we will get the book called rail uh, again half finished book but there we go so put it on the betrayal <laughs> table and that will solve the first puzzle uh, you don't actually have to pick up the uh, photo right there so you can just press the b button to drop that if you accidentally pick it up with the doors there, you do have to move the analog stick to the left or the right to open it up we're going to head to the end of the corridor anyway um, that's not an edit that uh, you can actually just crouch down if you want a little bit of a slight jump scare Turn directly back around and we're going to go into this first room here the biology room So once in take a let uh, take a turn to the left and we're going to spell out First word will be death. So that is D E A T H For death Do you fear death? <sighs> Uh, yeah, pretty much. And then we're going to put in weights. So W-A-I-T-S. So death weights. And finally, the last word's going to be smiles. So S-M-I-L-E and S. Death weights and smiles in the dark. Creepy stuff. So, right, so now we can get out of here. Turn to the right as we come uh, through the corridor. And right at the very end here, we're going to go into this next room on the right. Open up the door. Lovely. So uh, if we go straight in front of us here, we're going to move. Again, you just need to interact with the sort of broken bookshelf there once. Interact with the middle pillowcase. And you can drop again the pillowcase there with the B button. Pick up the keys. Turn to the right. And on this chair is the uh, briefcase we can open up with. So what we're going to do, we're going to pick up this four. Uh, we're going to drop it, and then we're going to pick up the next piece of paper. Now, with this first one, we're going to put it on the very left-hand side, just by the door on the left-hand side. So you've got one to uh, do first. And then we're going to pick up number seven. And then we'll turn around, and we're going to put this in the third square. So that's one, one blank, seven. Next, we're going to pick up the number three, the piece of paper with the number three on it. And we're going to be putting that right at the very end. So it's one blank, seven, blank, 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 three. And again, the pillowcase or the pillow rear is getting on my nerves. I pick up the next one and put that uh, to the right of the number seven. So it's one blank, uh, seven, one. And then pick up the letter zero. And we're going to put that in the second slot. So one, zero, seven, one. 
And finally, what you're going to do is pick up the left side of the piece of paper, drop that four, and then grab the number three, and then put that next to the one. Well, that wasn't a number three, but you know what I mean. Then finally, pick up the number seven, and put that in the last square. So you should have 107-1973, which may have some things about some things. Uh, yeah. Anyway, with this dartboard, what you're going to do, you're going to interact with the middle once, and then the out the outer ring once. So very important to do that, that'll solve the puzzle. So the middle part first and then the outer ring. Uh, that will grab the key, which we can grab, go to the left as we come out of the uh, hallway. And then from here we can go to the right and basically up the stairs now. All the stuff gets out of the way because we are we are so magic and we are theory key. Right, next part then. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to head into the r next right hand side room. There it is. So let's nip in here. Excuse me, sir. Get the hell out of my way. And then to the right, to the very right, we've got another puzzle. So interact with the top left star first, then the middle left, then the um, middle right, and then the bottom left. That will get in this achievement, and then we've got to put these in a specific order. So the top left one, there we go. We are going to put that in number, th uh, number four to begin with. Then with the middle left one, we are going to put that in the number one slot. The bottom left one, we are going to put in the number three slot. The uh, top right one, we shall put in the number five and thousand thousand slot. So number five. The uh, middle right one, we're going to put in number six. And then the bottom right one, of course, will go in number two. So that is how you do the puzzle. And then the, we should be able to get a key now. Turn to the left, interact with this desk, uh, pop the key in, give it a little open. Now this is another little puzzle that we got to do. So uh, once we open up the drawer, we get this little ting, 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 ting thing. We can now close the drawer and do the puzzle. So what we're going to do then, we're going to interact with the middle G first. So yes, this one. And then if we go over slightly to B, and then from here we're going to go up and to the right slightly with this first one. Drop down and hit the D just underneath it. Over to the left to hit the G again, the same G in the middle, and then up the three keys here, the one on the very left-hand side. And as long as you hear the noise of or something, that means the puzzle's complete and we can move on. So from here, we are going to go to the left as we exit the hallway once more. Into the next room here on the left. And then we're going to interact with these specific words. The man in black is here. No, he's not. So, don't, which is towards the bottom first. Then waste, which is just to the right of it on the line above. Your, which is on the second row there. And time. Here. So don't waste your time here. Uh, once you've done that, we can head back out, go to the right. And again, you can hear the... Uh, apparently that means that the puzzle's done. Heading into the biology room again. And this time we are going to interact with this desk. We're going to open it up. Eventually, sometimes it can be slightly finicky. As you can see, and we're going to grade some papers. So, first of all, with this one, what we're going to do is go to the desk in the sort of bottom right, or the sort of top right-hand corner desk right there. There's only three desks, so that's all good. Now we're teacher, teacher. Leave those kids alone. This F we're going to put in the uh, desk just left of the last one we've done. And then the A plus, of course, is for the nerds in the front. Which uh, I was an F guy in school and look at me now. <laughs> right, straight in front of you, we are going into the locker room. No, I'm just joking. Um, I just talk crap for a living. Excellent, eh? So we interact with these first uh, set of lockers. You're going to pick this letter up and then we're just going to drop it directly down to where we are, so we will basically come back for the later. I interact with the middle locker here, uh, just to the left of the final locker, and again, just press the B button to drop it down. If we turn around, you can see another set of lockers, interact with the third one, open it up, and on the bottom should be the next letter. We will press the B button again to drop it. Over to the next set of lockers then, what you're gonna do is interact with the only one that you can, and it's the second from the right. And if we t go to the opposite side, again, third locker in, pick up the letter, and again, press the B button to drop it, lovely. 
uh, if we go to the left, so basically continuing on, we're going to pull, uh, we're going to interact with this locker here again, sorry. This is the last letter now. And we're going to keep this letter, we're going to turn to the left and you're going to have an evil Satan, you know, one of these bros. So put this first letter on the number one, turn to the left, now remember the first locker that we got, we're going to now pick up this letter. And then we will turn around. If you want to, you can press the Y button, I believe, to have a look. Because the uh, different names should be on different numbers. So we're going to put that first one there on number four. And we're, now we're going to pick up the third letter. Which is going to be put on number two. Then we're going to pick up the second letter right here. Again, make sure that uh, this one's Amy, I believe. So... It is Amy, so make sure that it says Amy. We're going to put her on number three. And then the one just directly behind us there should be Alice or Alex. Sorry, I'm going blind. Put that on number six. And then, of course, the final letter here will be on number five. And this is what will complete the level. Now, those letters I kind of made a bit confused of myself, sorry, because I put them all basically in the middle of the room. Um, so if this scene doesn't start happening, just uh, move uh, a couple of the letters about. And you should, uh, you should be good. Otherwise, oh yeah, that's the first level done. Now we can just go back to solo mode. And we're going to go with the second level, which is called Room Selection. I mean, Keeper of Lost Souls. Now, this was a fun one. I actually enjoyed this one. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to pick up the axe here. We're going to turn directly around, interact with this sort of safe chest. Press the A button on it. We'll get another achievement and open it up. Uh, what you'll need to do is press the B button, of course, to drop the axe so we can pick up the big metal pole. It's chunky, like my belly. Uh, so again, press the B button to drop the axe so we can pick up the metal pipe. <laughs> there we go. Once that's done, interact it with the chest just to the right of it and slam it down. Open it up and ta-da, we get like a B. So, be good, be kind, be buzzing. Uh, interact uh, with this little thing here to uh, flint it up and then we can get a fire going. Grab the uh, metal piece that we used to open up the chest and then put that one straw in the fire. I mean square on the fire. Uh, you can just keep spamming the A button here because it'll start doing like a little, you know, like it's having a epileptic fit or something, the uh, chain. Basically, you need to just get this hot enough. So you keep spamming the A button then you'll be all like... <laughs> and then you can pick it up. Again, uh, the hand icon will appear when you can. Put it on the anvil to the left of you. Don't worry, you've got uh, radioactive hands, so you're all good. Now we can grab the hammer. Go over to the anvil again and press the uh, press the hammer on it once. Drop the hammer now. And we will go back and grab this chisel tool. Looks like a chisel. Looks like a chisel. Uh, interact with it there. And then we can pick up the hammer again. Smash that down with the schnizzle. And that will unlock a key. We will... Give us a key. So head directly to the back of this room, and then we're going to pop the key in. You actually have to interact with the lock, of course, because, you know, otherwise, uh, my ain't working. Right, so here is the next room. First things first, we are going to get a missable achievement here for picking up all of the rats. So there should be two scurrying around this area, so you'll need to press the A button and then the B button to drop them. And then the back left corner of this room should be another two. I'm not sure if it's random or not, but basically there's only four that you need to pick up. Once you've picked up all four, the achievement for uh, having a diseased hand will unlock. So pick up a, another one of these rats, anyway, and come right into the... <laughs> excuse me. Come right into the middle of the room on this pedestal. You're going to pop the rat in there. Pick up the scroll. Turn to your right and interact with the door. And then we have to do a couple of uh, symbol bashing. So turn directly around, pick up this mug or this cup or whatever. And then we're going to pop that in the bowl of water. Uh, grab the cup again, and we're going to interact with the right-hand side symbol, the one that looks like a backwards one or an upside-down L. Uh, drop the cup, because we're going to need that later, and then we're going to go over to the other opposite side of the room and grab a stick, just a random stick. The stick doesn't hurt anybody, the stick doesn't do anything. We're going to put that on the top, which kind of looks like somebody shrugging, going, hmm, I don't know, without a head, so, which was the top symbol. Now we're going to go back into the starting room, the previous room, and if we head to the right... We're going to see a sword which we can pick up. King Arthur and the likes. He likes some swords, yeah. And then what we're going to do, we're going to chop off the rat's head. 
it's not like you were diseased enough anyway. Drop the sword, pick up the rat's head, and we're going to put that on the bottom one, which looks like an angry W. And then pick up the torch, and then interact that with the left-hand symbol, and that'll smash the door open beautifully. Right, so head to the sort of uh, top corner of the room right here. What we're going to do, we're going to drop the torch here, uh, pop, grab this brick, put it uh, just to the, obviously on the fire pit. Then the next brick is to, just to the left of the torch where we dropped. Put that on the next bit of fire pit. Then what we're going to do is head all the way back to the starting room. And then we're going to pick up the hammer once again. And then what we're going to do is interact with one of these stone blocks. There it is. So we will get an achievement for that. Plus, we can grab the block. So you can drop the hammer, pick up the block. And the achievement here should unlock called a poorly kept secret. Yeah, so uh, yeah, that's pretty poor. Yeah, hiding any key in a crappy old place. Right, interact the fireplace uh, with that with the fireplace. Then grab the wood off the barrel, pop that down into the fire pit as well. Grab the torch, pop down into the fire pit to make a well fire. Pretty obvious. Then drop the torch again. Then turn around. We need to go back into the previous room to grab the um, bowl. Not a bowl. What's it called? It's a witch thing where they go <laughs> and they stir soup and stuff in it, full of kids. You know, one of those. But anyway, pop that onto the fire pit. Anyway, grab the sword to the right of you, and you can pop that into the fiery death kitty soup. Uh, turn around. And then what we're going to do is grab the hand just next to this crystal. Nice, beautiful bit of protein there. You can't really complain. So pop that anywhere. And then what you're going to do is head back into the previous room. So we need like the stick and the cup and everything. So first things first, we're going to grab a, um, a sort of jewel off the hand right there or a gem or whatever. So pick up the gem or the jewel or the jewel or the gem of the hand. Pop that again anywhere that you can. Potentially... Um, if it doesn't actually go down, you just need to find a diff different little space for it, that's all. Once you pop that down, head into the next room, make sure to pick up the stick. Because again, the stick makes uh, humans taste very delicious, apparently. So, wherever you can find some space, pop that one in. And then what we're going to do is head back into the previous room again. And this time we're going to grab the... Uh, in fact, no, we're going into the starting room this time. Sorry, my bad, I thought we were grabbing the cup. But what we're actually going to do is head onto this table here... And grab this O, oh, this O R E, this ORE. ORE, ORE, ORE. Oi, oi, oi. And what we'll do is obviously pop that in the delicious human soup. There we go. Again, wherever you can find space, pop that one in. And then for the final time, let's head back into the previous room. Straight into the starting room. And then finally, what we're going to do is interact with the key and head all the way back into the second room, third room, fourth room. Boo. Yes. Yeah, so into this big crystal area, uh, we're going to interact with the crystal here on the left or the cage. So we should now be able to open it up. Then we'll be able to grab the crystal again. The uh, It can be kind of finicky. So, you know, be careful and all that stuff. Then we can just pop this Beautiful piece of deliciousness straight in and there we go. That will effectively open the next door with a creepy scowl <laughs> Right interact with the torch here on the wall and we're going to go to the opposite end and Then we are going to head up this uh, little staircase right here And then we're going to interact with a symbol which should be on the right so There it is just press the a button on it and that'll get some va va voom going so head down the steps. We're going to drop the torch at the bottom of the steps. We will need that for a little later. Um, and then what we'll do is head back into the previous room. And continue on into the previous room. This time we're going to grab the cup, which for me, it did sort of fling itself in the middle of the room. So just be careful. It should be there somewhere though. So grab the cup and then head to the finale of the finaliest of rooms. Head up to the left staircase this time. And then we're going to interact with the symbol here directly in front of us. The upside down L or the backwards one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, head back down, drop the cup down at the bottom of the stairs. We will come back for that a little bit later on. And then head to the left into this sort of middle part to find another stick. Head back up to the left side steps. 
And then we're going to interact with this symbol here, the W, the one without a head, which looks like it's shrugging its shoulders. And then just pop the stick down. Again, we'll come back with the stick later on. Head back down the steps. Yeah, man. And then grab the cup. Sorry, I thought it was all glitched down on me then. Once you've grabbed the cup, you're going to um, interact with the symbol here on the left-hand side. Uh, so it can be kind of very well hidden. And then we, next up, we're going to grab the torch and straight in front of us, just off to the right there on the wall, is another symbol that we're going to interact with. Then head straight back up the steps. And then we can finally grab the stick of life. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to interact to the right of us, the final uh, the final symbol. So yeah, good stuff. So once that has been interacted with, uh, what we're going to do is just head through to the previous room here. So room three, and then through to room two, and then to the starting room. We've got uh, just a, a couple more things to do, and then the level will finish. So what we're going to do now is in the desk where we first started this get us uh, this level, interact with the metal pipe. Again, give yourself a little, uh, uh, yeah, as in keep spamming the A button, and then it should be hot enough. Pop that on the anvil, grab the hammer of life, skablamo. Uh, have a look on the table right in front of us here, and you're going to find the sword end. Most people call it a bell, but I prefer to call it a sword end. And then once you've popped that together, obviously pick it up, and then we're going to head to the final room once again. Nobody's getting near my sword end. Oh, here now. Head up to the left-hand side uh, blah, blah, steps. And then what we need to do is actually cut two ropes right in the middle here. So just press the A button on the two ropes. Then just interact with this uh, wheel. That'll open the gate and that'll end the level. And we've got one more short, short, short level to do. Yeah, yeah. Right, so lastly but not leastly, we're going to interact with the third painting on the right hand side, the secret, oh, the secret inheritance. Again, this is a short level, so first of all, we're going to head to the left, interact with the door, and then you just need to press the A button to start this puzzle proper. So, first up, then, with the first one, we're going to be doing uh, I and X, which is, uh, you know, uh -huh, in Roman numerals. So IX is the first one, and then the next one is going to be a V and an I, which is, of course, X in Roman numerals. <laughs> so uh, V, I. Then you can leave the third one as two. Next, we're going to pop the next one down as three, and then two. And then we're going to leave that as two. Then once we press the A button there, the door should unlock for us, and we can head through. So now we can go into the next room, we're going to get another miserable achievement here. So all we've got to do is just basically turn the chairs all away from each other. So these first two chairs in front of us, we're going to face it so the seat is looking towards us. Like so. This seat on the right, we're going to put that again, just sort of look in the opposite direction. And then same with the next two chairs. Just put those in the opposite direction and we will get the worst party ever achievement. There we go, so that is what they should look like to get the worst party achievement. Right, now we can continue to do it right. So we're going to interact with this chair three times, first of all. So I accidentally done it twice, but you need to interact with that first chair three times. This one, we need to interact with it uh, five times. This chair on the right, we're going to interact with that a couple of times as well. So it's sort of pointing to the left of the next chairs. Uh, with the two, first two chairs, we're going to just basically pop them just uh, off to the right rather than straight. And then it's the same with this chair as well. So make sure that's looking straight. Uh, interact with the little lever handle here. And now normally what should happen is this picture, one of those pictures should be opened up. That picture there should be opened up. But as I said, with the first one, I accidentally um, didn't click it enough times. So it is the chair at the very end. There we go. So that is exactly what it should look like. Then the painting will open up. There we go. So I'll just show you again here what it looks like. And that is how it should be done. So if you're um, still a little bit confused, it's not opening for you. There we go. That is how you're supposed to do it. 
Once the painting's opened up, you're gonna pop this in and then you're gonna give the little spin cycle. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Va, va, boom. Oh yeah, va, va, boom, baby. Turn directly around, have a look at the desk on the opposite side of the room. And here there's gonna be a little blue gem we can pop in. Pop into the eye of life. Pop it in, open it up and, oh, it's Am's book. Well, well, let's put book around. So first of all then, with the first book, we're gonna put this in the bottom right corner of the bookcase. Then the second book here is in the uh, fireplace. Put that in the second, so that's the, sort of the second row up in the middle. Next, The next bookcase is again, if you turn directly around, you can see it on the bookcase there, or the bookshelf, sorry. And this one is gonna go in on the third row over to the right hand side, just underneath the D. Everyone likes to be underneath the D, don't they? If we turn directly around onto this desk where we found the blue gem, pick up the next book. And that's gonna go in the second row from the top on the left hand side. And then the last book is on top of the books or just next to the painting. On the very top, that is job done. Now what you need to do, you need to be quick here. So basically once you interact with the big D, <laughs> Um, we will have one more puzzle, and then what you need to do before the level ends, you just need to get in and interact with the uh, gun on the wall. We need to spell ending here. So that is all we have to do. So E-N-D and I-N-G. And again, as soon as the door opens, just uh, keep interacting with the big massive shotgun on the back of the wall. You can't miss it. There we go. So interact with it, sort of, you know, just keep clicking the A button there until the Hunter Born achievement unlocks. And there we go, because if you missed that, you would just have to replay this level again, just to get to this point. And you'll also get the I Am Rich achievement as well, so there we go there, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game, and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members, absolute legends of the universe. And there we go, that's another easy one chalked off the list. I'll see you in the next one. Big old chunky nut love. Peanut butter love. Chunky Nutella love. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs>